Nick. Yeah, a little well, bit. Well, we had we had to have an emergency session. So I, you guys, I probably you know, Stav <laughs> Stav has moved on. He, he's got mm -hmm. he's got big things going on. He's outgrowing the show. Good for him. So and, send off to him. But this it, it, it's sort of abrupt timing, I'd say. I don't know. So we're scram big, we're big, scrambling now. Big shoes to fill. Yeah. We're scrambling. We're, it's you know, it's it, impossible. It, we're not going to be able yeah. to. Do. We, I mean, yeah. I think we just have so to we fully gotta, we have to fully pivot to. It's got to be the Adam Friedland show. No, it, I don't and we know brought about Norman that. in on an emergency consultation. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, I, yeah. the Adam Friedland. You're show. you're one of Nick's oldest friends. It'll be like Dick, I am. It's going to be I, like Dick Cabot, except dumber. Am I your mm -hmm. old, am I your oldest non family friend? Well, I wouldn't say I have any family friends, mm -hmm. but yeah. yeah, no, I mean, yeah, we've known each other. Actually, no, that's not true. I, there's people I'm friends with that I've known since like. I was like very young, um, yeah. but no, I mean definitely yeah. my longest like friend in adulthood. I'm trying to think like who. I mean, but we've been close friends for a long time. It yeah. doesn't matter. This is we're not talking about me. No, I know, I know. This is the Adam. This is, this this is what funny. people like. This, this is, is the, the Adam, kind of stuff no, people like. The Adam Friedland show. So we got to talk about. Mean? We got to talk about what kind of stuff we're going to get into on what the Adam Friedland show. <laughs> How we're going to produce? Well, this. I've been saying we, we. You know me. I'm a behind the scenes guy. <laughs> That's what I've been yearning for. It's true. Y'all should at the do mixing a mixing board. Y'all should do like a meta thing where you like talk about the show on the show. Meta, mm -hmm. like a like the fake Facebook. Like, well, we don't have any real estate, but what if we just sold pretend houses for the world's <laughs> dumbest motherfuckers? <laughs> Honey, I bought it's a house. Honey, I bought a house on Facebook. Is Where is it? It's on Facebook. <laughs> I spent three hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> but don't worry, it's pretend. It's Facebook money too. <laughs> it's not even just like real estate. It's like mm -hmm. shirts. Yeah. Like your. Oh yeah, you can like, buy different outfits. Yeah. 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 That's what I do in the metaverse. I go shopping. I've never even... Have you seen the matter? I have no idea what it is. No, I'm not I, interested. Yeah, no, not no interested. fucking clue. I mean, Facebook, they know they have to be on the way out. Like, the, the future for that company is just buying up other shit yeah. and fucking, like... You know, they made the right move buying Instagram. You know? They should, like... They, mm -hmm. You know, like... Otherwise, you end up like MySpace, you know? It, I mean, is, is, is Instagram still a thing? Like, because I'm on Instagram, which means it should be on its way out. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm just, uh, you know, me, I'm just a little, I'm just a little Hollywood producer. So yeah. I've got, no, I'm not a public figure anymore. Mm. I just make, I make killer shows. Yeah. Yeah. That's my move. Is what do you have coming up on the Ross? The Adam Friedland show. No, I don't know. But beyond that. <laughs> that is going to be my big, that that's going to be, be your baby. Yeah. It should be my baby. Nick's, Nick's back to being a touring comic. No, you know what? I watched the pre the trailer for the Elvis movie. Yeah. And I saw Elvis. I looked at pictures of him bloated and dying. Mm hmm And I thought, I could do this to Adam. I could be the <laughs> Colonel Tom Parker. You're going to, like, fill me with I drugs? I could be the dr Dutch weirdo, the, mm -hmm. the, the, the valor-stealing <laughs> Dutch weirdo, illegal immigrant. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's awesome. The colonel? <laughs> yeah. Wait, he wasn't he wasn't American? No, he was a Dutch guy that illegally came to him. He murdered somebody in Belgium or Dutch mm -hmm. and then he moved here and no, none like, of my business. He's like, I'm from West Virginia. <laughs> I, and then he like, rebranded. He's like, Oh, these people don't uh, you know, however the fuck Dutch people sound. Wow, and he killed it's, Elvis. It's, yeah. He gets like, home, he gets home and he goes he like looks out his window and makes sure that there's no one watching on the street and then he goes down to his basement and goes into a secret closet mm -hmm. and then he just activates all of his cuckoo clocks. To get back into his Dutch heritage. Wow. For a moment. He's like, wow. this is my secret. No one can know. Wow. Is Colonel like Does even he... an actual rank in the military? Because I feel yeah, like... Course, I yeah. think so, yeah. I feel like every colonel you hear about is like not in the army at all. Like, like the no, chicken after, guy? Like after, colonel... It's after major, I think, right? I don't know, dude. Mm. I think colonel is the one that's like different. In one of, like an army has colonels. I think an army colonel and like a marines colonel are different. Because mm -hmm. like the marines... The Marines are like mostly the Navy ranks. I okay. Think. Mm -hmm. Or the, I, I don't know. I, I don't get know. confused. This is shit that I knew when I was playing Call of Duty, <laughs> like fifteen years ago. We should have gone to war. That yeah, was part you, of being a man. You getting in that age now? I don't know. I feel like I missed out on uh, your war. Life would have sucked, dude. Yeah, was, I would have sucked at you, war. You, you, you would have been from, really good. You're from Vegas. You know how fucking shitty it is. That's a military town. It's uh, Air Force. Yeah, it's all Air That's Force. That's not real. It's military, all Air Force. Though. Yeah, guys that sit around lo like looking at just drone doing drone strikes. Yeah, it's like computers. Yeah, yeah. But that's the lifestyle. I mean, it's no different, regardless of what you're doing. Well, all I would I'm not have. Is... I had a friend that was a was a captain in the army. Uh huh. And when comedy was kind of failing, I guess I was like 23, 24, and I was like, "Dude, should I just join the army?" And he was like, "I'm telling you right now, dude, 
He's like, that would be like a Ford Hood situation. <laughs> <laughs> you shoot that yeah, shit up. Yeah, he's like, you would not. He's like, you would absolutely yeah, not. Yeah, you really well. do have oppositional defiance. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's you do like, not like being told what to fight. do. He's like, they would hate you. You wouldn't get along with anyone. Mm -hmm. You know, you'd be fucking bullied the whole time. But so. you'd learn to kill. Uh, you, can, you don't have to learn to kill. Everyone knows how to kill. <laughs> I don't know. I, kill. Yeah. I don't know. I think I, I think there's different skill levels. My though. cat can kill. Cat killing is right up there with fucking and shitting and eating. It's just one of these things. I don't you're know. Just not, not, not for me. I wouldn't say for me actually, but you just feel that you have that in your in your bones. No, I don't even feel like I have bones anymore. <laughs> I'm too rich now. <laughs> I'm just I'm just I'm skin and bad veins. Just cardiac problems. Just a big jellyfish with cardiac uh -huh. problems. And that's what makes me everything I touch production wise. That's true. Solid gold. King maybe. Midas over here. Yeah, I'm gonna start I'm gonna just get the stomach open, all shirt open, all you know what? I'm just now that Gustav used to do this all the time. Oh, the stomach? You remember he would see You got down. a nice trail. You got a nice little abbey trail there. Dude. Yeah, I'm pretty hairsy. It goes all the way up. Yeah. I'm a hairy motherfucker. That. Really? Yeah. I don't produce a body hair. Yeah, no, I look no, like... No, neither do I. I'm smooth. Yeah, yeah me really? too. I look like James Bond, dude. I look like Sean Connery. I've got that just that weird ring of like wiry hairs around, around, the my, around the yeah. nipples. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah. It's, it's weird clean, how women have clean, that sometimes. It's to clean off the baby's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> During the bris. <laughs> During the... <laughs> Um, it is really weird that we do that. What? Like as a party. Like they invite like every, like yeah. all their friends and family and have a deli tray there. So what about this? One, yeah. 101. We go 101 Adam Friedland show. Okay, bring, let's hear it. We bring a moil on. <laughs> you interview. That's what I'm saying. I would like to interview the people that we don't hear from. You said, yeah, well, you said you wanted yeah. a pedophile, and I said, I don't think that's a very we good We should just hear them out. So. We should hear them out. Yeah. And I said, maybe later on, when we've built up yeah, some... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goodwill, up goodwill. Goodwill, yeah, cultural yeah. cash. We don't want to alienate. You can yeah. pitch yourself don't, as, that's like, a good point. this generation's Don't go here. straight to pedophile. Right. Built up to it with a with a mm -hmm. moil with a moil yeah yeah, yeah exactly. moil yeah moil is first yeah because that's a trade you know mm -hmm. are you no one's like a bl a blue collar it is really a testament to how much smarter Jews are than everyone else that the Catholics are like well we'll just we'll pretend we're celibate mm -hmm. and then we can rape the children in the closet <laughs> and then they get caught. And it's mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah, these guys are just pretending yeah. to be celibate. Where the Jews are like, I, I, let's just put I it in the religion. Like, yeah. Let's just say, yeah, we have to, we I don't have think to it's suck in, the kids' It's not in the religion, really. actually. <laughs> they do it right out in the open. I don't think you're right about that. <laughs> it's just, no they one, do. they don't suck the kids' They dick. do. You know they do, dude. Don't There's call, like one caught, sect of chasses that have done it. I caught, I got in so much shit. Everyone called me an anti-Semite <laughs> for me pointing that out, that they suck the baby's penis. Uh -huh. For years, mm -hmm. everyone called me an anti. And then you were vindicated. I was vindicated. Yeah, but what, when did that happen? What do you mean? When did it happen? When you you uncovered the conspiracy? No, I mean there was a there was an issue with uh, babies getting herpes in New York City. There was it was yes, but it was amongst a small community of Hasidic Jews. Mm -hmm. I didn't get my dick sucked as a baby at eight days. And, I refuse to admit that. I don't think you're anti-Semitic, Nick, but we have I never... Do. I actually think he is. We yeah. have never had a conversation that you did not <laughs> tell me about the boil sucking baby dick. Yeah, he loves... We, we literally had this conversation it's a on fixation, the way home. Well, would say. That's it's sort of my like Aaron Brockovich-style crusade in my life. <laughs> But it's uh, the water is poisoned, and we're, nobody's believing. Uh -huh. We were on the way home last night. I'm like in, in I'm like lift. Russell Crowe in the the, the Insider. Mm -hmm. We're on the way home, and the waking then. up, there's a foreskin in my mailbox. <laughs> it's ruined your life. Yeah. Your wife leaves you. Mm -hmm. We passed some like Hasidic Jews on the way home, and Nick to certain he's like, "Did you know they suck dick?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Yes, you told me yesterday." <laughs> yeah. Every He's a great New York City tour guide. Yeah. 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 He takes you down to Chinatown, gives you some real hard facts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Down in Chinatown. He's like, hey, do you know about boils? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just explaining it to Chinese people. <laughs> you guys got to hear this shit. <laughs> this is a, just a blank expression. Wait till you get a load face. of this. <laughs> the guy in a fishing vest smoking a cigarette with the aviators on. 
I'm like, yeah, they suck the baby's dick. <laughs> so, anyways, at 101, we get Adam on. We have a moil. And so Adam, this isn't 101. Adam, this is the, no, the this planning is the, this meeting. This is the production meeting. That's what I said. It's a Patreon. I would exclusive. like a more diverse writer's room. What this room, is, though. is this is sort of the last come town. And it's not even really come town. It's just the guys from come town plan the Present. I don't think it's going to be the Adam Freeland show. I think it's just going to be... Like uh, like when Pepsi rebranded, you know, just new formula. Yeah. Then yeah. it's going to be Adam Friedland. No, it's down. not going to be Adam Friedland's hometown. It's going to be executive producer Nick Mullen. We're going to need. We're going to need the folks who have been with us. We're moving on mm. to the next project. You're going to have to find folks. You're going to have to call Adam. You're going to have to convince him that the Adam Friedland show is mm-hmm. the move. <laughs> I'm telling you, look. I don't know where this came from. The Adam Friedland I show. hosted two shows when your eye hurt. From the, uh, my and now own. this is my future that you've, you've determined for me? From the mind that brought you. <laughs> come town. It, it was, was, it was you or Ian. Yeah, from yeah. the twisted mind. And my eye still hurts. Nick it was Mullen. bleeding this morning. Yeah. yeah, how are you still... I don't know. That I don't stinks, know. I might have to man. go back to the ophthalmologist. I'm hoping I don't have a melanoma or something. I don't think it should still be bleeding. Man, I'm sorry to hear that, dude. Yeah, it's all right. Well, you get into the 30s. You got to get shit cut out of your face. I did. I had no, a you had that cut giant on my scar. On it's your not face. giant. I would say it's pretty it's badass. Huge. No, it's like a badass scar on my chin. That doesn't matter. Those aren't. But it's not giant. Okay. I wouldn't say. But they're not. Just don't lie on my ass I'm like not that. Because they can't eyes. see what the, the. It's a normal small scar. What about That's the scar face show? Just. Scarface Freeland show. Mm-hmm. You can do that because it's like that guy was like, "What if I just made a TV show that's the movie Fargo?" And I don't think he asked for permission. He just did it. No, no, they were they were like executive producers on that. The Glenn uh, Brothers were. I don't know if that's true. It is. So we'll do, the, true. we'll do the scar. This is now the Scarface podcast. <laughs> is you know that my number, new nickname? You know what the number one podcast is? Is there's like a true crime podcast? Yeah, I've mm-hmm. never. I'm not into true crime because. It's all women. Yeah, I'm a straight guy. Yeah, oh my God. I have no interest in like. Ooh, ooh. And then she was ooh. raped. Did, who did he murder? <laughs> ooh. Ooh. ooh, And it's like you know what's funny about true crime is like you're only into it because of the music. That's it. Yeah. It's like it's what just the mean? music just tricks people and like there's dramatic music that plays right. during true crime stuff. That's it. You're just emotionally susceptible. W- where did you guys come down? Otherwise, otherwise it's just news. You're just reading about I somebody think, who got murdered. I think it's just girls watching it pretending that they're going to get raped and murdered. No, they just like the music, dude. Don't no, I don't think it's the music. Then how come they don't read about true crime? They do. No, they, they yeah, they, they do. do. They do. No, I, My girlfriend will be in bed and I she'll like turn over and she'll be like, a baby committed suicide. I don't know if that's true. No, I think it's she's true. She's reading the news. That's not the news. It's the Ep- girl news. Episode 102, Adam Friedland Show. <laughs> what? We didn't even decide on 101. We have, you come on. Yes, it's a moil. Episode 2, oh, the a moil. woman who was raped. And we ask her... <laughs> Did you do this to get on investigation discovery? Yeah, was she showing off? Are you mad you weren't murdered so that you could be the star of mm-hmm. investigation discovery? And that's that'd Adam be a good Adam, question. Adam asks the hard questions. Yeah, that's true because he's based and red pilled. This is time for Adam. I think I'm not. The time I'm, is hot for your severe right wing. I'm kid. not. I'm not. I'm not that I, at all. Actually. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm actually. I'm. I think I'm I'm a lib actually. They call him point. Norman Finkelstein <laughs> from hell. <laughs> the Norman Finkelstein. From hell. This is new. Is we're branding him. Thank you. Mm. It's He's good to man. be here. That he guy, might be. Is he the? Rules. Is he the only Jew you like, Nick? I mean, no. I mean, as a joke. I like not you, serious. we're friends. Yeah, you like me, okay? Dude. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, there's several of them. I'm trying to think. Nah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, he's the only Norman, one. You and Norman Finkelstein. I will. I, I appreciate I Norman being here. Norman Wilkerson. I like all the Normans. Oh, you're a Jew. Norm McDonald. Well, Norman's a Jewish name. Yeah. yeah. I don't know about that. Well, it's because it's like when you're trying to describe a Jewish man's gender. It's like, like Norman. Well, they're, they're not a woman per se, nor man. It's nor like, man. Yeah, they oh. kind of fall in the middle somewhere. Oh yeah. That's where it comes. That's, from. that's rude. That's <laughs> quite rude. Well, that's where the name comes from. I guess. <laughs> Um. So yeah. Uh-huh. So episode two, we have a, ra- a lady that gets raped, and with musical guest Oasis, obviously. <laughs> that'd be a big. That'd be a big get. That'd be a so big how did? Get. Because, what, was it like an alley rape? Just Adam snickering. <laughs> Were you like raped? In like I wouldn't a, laugh at that. In like an alley? No, I wouldn't laugh yeah, at that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would not laugh at that. Was it an alley, ladies and gentlemen? 
Oasis. <laughs> I said, maybe you're gonna be the one that saves me. After all. Who are we thinking episode three? Let's think this out. Yeah. Charlize Theron. That'd be badass. Mm-hmm. You're but then you try to you try to you think she wants to fuck you because you're both from South Africa. No, just because she's talking to me. Oh yeah, yeah. That's pretty much all that I require. Damn. And then episode four, <laughs> we'll have to go on a hiatus so I can rewatch Mad Max Fury Road. That day, I'll plan to watch Mad Max Fury Road. Yeah, but no, yeah. I'm telling you guys, you guys might be bummed out, and you might be listening to this, and you're like, it's not the same. It's not the same. I can't do this anymore. And you're right. It's not the same. Mm-hmm. But I tell you, the Adam Friedland show is going to be fire, dude. It's going to, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be want, fire. All I want, and people got the wrong read on me. They think I want, you know, bone surgery or something. Mm-hmm. No. Oh, the knee bone surgery to be three inches taller? No, no, no. That was Cumbtown, Nick. We're going into Hollywood. <laughs> I'm trying to be a behind-the-scenes producer guy and just make solid gold hits. <clears throat> Like Ron Howard, right? Like Ron Howard. Ron Howard. Howard. Mm-hmm. Got tired of being in front of the camera, decided to go back behind it. Except my my hot daughter won't get fat. That's my going to be. <laughs> you had a hot daughter? What's, yeah. Really? Blythe. What's her name? Blythe Dingbat. She's got like such a stupid name. Bluth Blim Blimbo. <laughs> Bluth Blimbo Howard. <laughs> 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 yeah, whatever her name is. Yeah, no, she how was dare very, she get fat? She was very pretty. She didn't really get fat. She was just look kind of a little chubby in that Black Mirror episode. But I guess that was probably for the role. They were like, "Listen, mm-hmm. you're too sexy to be affected by social media. You're gonna have to. We're gonna we're gonna need you to spend some time at craft services before we get the cameras yeah. rolling. We're gonna need you to plump up a little bit, mm-hmm. like like De Niro and." Uh, Raging Bull. Raging yeah. Bull, yeah. 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 I heard he actually got good at boxing for it. Really? That's what they say. Mm-hmm. He, like, fought amateur fights, and he was actually, like, a pretty good boxer. Yeah, that's not true. That's what they say. He, I mean, but he doesn't have a boxing record. Do you think, well, it was amateur. It was do you a, think for, like, taxi driver, he, like, fucked a Mick, 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 fucked a kid. Mickey yeah. Rourke did that. Mickey Rourke, like, his whole career, he was like, yeah, he used to be a boxer. And, right. Like, yeah. And then he quit acting and went into boxing and they just set him up with like fake fights. You know, well, I don't know how fake like, they were. They fucked up his face. Oh, he fucked well, up. Well, that's his own plastic face. surgery. Yeah, that's, he fucked his own that's face. That's body up with dysmorphia. Surgery. But the, all the fights he were in were like fixed fights. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, was a, he wasn't any kind of remarkable. I fight. thought he just got. I thought he, like, I thought his face was just from getting the shit beat out of him uh-huh. when he tried to be a. No, I think it's from hating himself. Yeah. Yeah. And Hollywood's treatment of. Fine men like him because he used to be like real pretty. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. You ever, see, you ever see Year of the Dragon? Uh, eh, no, I don't know. It's a great movie, is it? Yeah. Pope of Greenwich Village was my jam. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love that, and of course, Barfly. I mean, who, yeah. Who doesn't love Barfly? I haven't seen Barfly since I was like 15 years old. It holds up. I guess now that I'm a producer, I should be reviewing the Mickey Rourke catalog. So how can Let's I go it? through Let's a diner. Adam, Adam's going to be my Elvis Mickey work. Uh-huh. The second Iron I'm gonna Man. I'm going to get addic- him addicted. We're going to get him a live-in pharmacist. Mm-hmm. We're going to blow Adam up, and then we're throwing him in the ring. Yeah. So he's going to be... <laughs> All the while. He's going to be dying from quaaludes, <laughs> and at the same time, I'm making mm-hmm. him fight. And being a wigger, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Appropriating black culture. See, we got into this argument last week. Because he's he's saying that Elvis is a wigger, and I've never I've never bought that. No, the, yeah, I heard that. No, the slight the the, the criticism is that he stole black culture. Yeah, him. but yeah, but he wasn't a wigger. He wasn't trying. No, to he was fact, about it, dude. He was he was about appropriating it and turning it into white culture, I as opposed he, to just I think was, making black. Culture. I think he was just about. I think he was just growing up in Memphis around yeah, black yeah. people. I think he was just proto. I guess jazz so guys. Was, jazz guys were the original. Yeah, Al Jolson was the original. <laughs> no, I mean it. I, the, the way Al Jolson can see, he was like, yeah. he's like, this is just who I be. Yeah, he's like, come on, son. He's like, Playboy. I, I ain't doing just Al Jolson in the back in the makeup with the little <laughs> the bow tie. He, he had a resting black boy. Face. Boy, if I gotta tell your ass again, I'm about to slap the black off your face. <laughs> We're going in five minutes. Uh, that's so funny. Yeah. 